Okay, so you pluck your hair. Yeah, you string your wedding ring onto it. Okay. And hold it over your belly. You just hold it over the belly and then- If it goes in a circle, it, it's a girl. What? If it goes back and forth, it's a boy. Oh, that sounds like witchcraft. Yeah, I don't like it. I don't like it Especially either. with the hair. Let me pull out my hair for an experiment. And then put it in this potion. Absolutely not. In my family, there are- 14 nieces and nephews. We have a birthday on every single month, except October. No October birthday. So I feel like- We'll fill the void. We're gonna fill that <laughs> slot. Well, here we are at 38 weeks pregnant. And by we, I mean you. Here we are. How are you feeling? I It feels so crazy. It does. It feels like, I, the fact that you could literally- be pregnant, and then the next day, be not pregnant, and we have a baby is just crazy to me. Yeah, it is. I, I mean, I pretty much have in my head that, like, he's going to be born at, like, you know, 40 weeks. Yeah. But since it's my first and people are like, you know, just get it in your head that that's, that's the timeline, especially because first-time moms often go late. But I was just saying today, I'm like, I can see how when you get to 40 weeks, you're like, can you please come out? <laughs> you're You're ready. Can you yeah. please day by show day, yourself? Get more uncomfortable. And yes. Yeah, I know. Yes, because I mean, at my well, he is moving. Oh, um, is he? Yeah, at my. He's saying hi. Hi. At my thirty-six week ultrasound, they estimated that he weighed six pounds fourteen ounces. At what? At what? Thirty-six. 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 Like their their systems predictor said that at thirty-nine. At 39 weeks, he would weigh eight pounds. Eight pounds? So, yeah. You know, it's like he's still still putting on the pounds up until the last minute. Eight pounds at 40? At, at 39. At 39. So yeah. then at 40, what is he going to be? 8.5? They didn't shoot I was, I think, nine, I was nine something. Yeah, I so think I was a big you were boy. like nine, eight. I think your mom told me. <laughs> yeah, I was a big boy. And then you my were, younger brother was 10. Yeah, you were a little chunk. Because I, I was, I think I was eight pounds, or I was eight, two. But I was longer than you because I asked your mom also how long you were. Mm. So like you were Wait, shorter I than I was me, short and stubby. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I was, I was, I was a chunker kid. <laughs> so you might, we might have a big baby. What is big? You know? I don't know. It, probably uh, like uh, 14 pounds. Uh, well, that's not going to be a thing. <laughs> I think I was in my birth class I was taking, they were saying that it's only, it, people are like, they say big baby so generally, but really oh, sure. it's only, it only becomes risky if your baby's like 11 pounds. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, that won't happen. I want to do a C-section. It's going to be October 2nd. That's our prediction. Our, our, uh, your due date is October 4th, but October 2nd is a pretty special day and it'd be pretty cool if that ended up happening. Mm -hmm. Her brother who passed away um, in twenty. 16 or 15? 15. 2015. Yeah. At the end of 2015. His birthday was on October 2nd. Yeah, his birthday's October 2nd. Like, it's so close. It's really it close. It would just be so like God. It would be a very God moment. To God wink. have him be born so, on that'd be cool. Corey's birthday. Because my brother passed away on my birthday in 2015. Yeah, that's right. Man. And so crazy. That was like a whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> Do you ever have any, I don't know what the right word is, like annoyance or resentment's not the the word. That's yeah. so dramatic. Um, but just kind of like, man, why did you have to like, not that you're thinking this about your brother at all, but it's just like, why did it have to be on my birthday to to for it to taint my birthday? Or do you not think about it in that way at all? I don't really think about it that way. Yeah. I always get emotional when I talk about it because when when it was happening, it was like, so my parents were stressed out about it happening on my birthday mm. because there was so much just because of with everything that happened. And it was like one of those situations where he didn't have any brain activity. So we had to come off the machines. And because of that, there was like all these hoops to jump through. And it's like, people have to come and check the, it's like such a bureaucratic process. Mm -hmm. um, I wouldn't, I, I've said this before, but like, I would not wish that experience on anyone yeah because that's horrible when you're just like sitting around for days on end waiting for them to be like okay today's the day that we get to, that we can unplug the machines like it was awful yeah which is um, why you're not too fond of hospitals either I, I hate hospitals yeah 
hate hospitals. Yeah, when we went to the, ho- we had to go to the hospital because uh, our baby's heart rate was above one sixty for a long period of time, and so they wanted to just go and make sure everything was fine and do a stress test. And so we had to go to the it's hospital. A, it's a non-stress oh, test. Oh, sorry. That's what it's called. <laughs> non-stress <laughs> test. And that's, there was like, I don't know, PTSD. If uh, just, that might be dramatic, but. I don't think so. Just walking PTSD into hospitals. PTSD going is like, into the hospital. Is like, I, I do not like it. Yeah. And it's just when you're in there, even when I was in there and it was like the machine that was tracking the baby's heart rate, there'd be like random I mean, you were in there with me. There yeah, like a random, lot of noises. Random beeps. And I'm just like, I I hate all the noises in a hospital. And I mean, it's definitely from, from that experience. For because sure. you're like, what does that mean? What does that so, mean? What's going on? A question that probably a lot of people are th- are wondering. Why, uh, <laughs> why uh, you know, why give birth in a why hospital? Why give birth then? in a hospital? Yeah. Um, because I think still, that still makes me feel more relaxed than the idea of giving birth at home if at least for your were, first one at least you know? for my first yeah. one if something were to be which is understandable needed um also quite frankly i don't want to give birth in a bathtub i'm just like it's not my thing it's never been something i wanted to do and like that's the only way i would do it at home mm-hmm. because otherwise i'm just I, too much mess yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I would rather give birth in a place where they know how to, they clean all that up. This is the most Sarah thing. Like the most Sarah answer. No. Too much mess. Too much mess. It's just going to be, you're going to be, th- th- you would be thinking about that the whole time. I, I feel like I would be, I don't know that probably maybe not. Maybe that's a good thing. Cause then you'd be distracted. M- maybe. You'd be I, thinking about the mess more than I probably you know, would, the labor. I probably would end up not being, not thinking about the mess at all because of what I'd be dealing with. Probably but, not. But the thought like leading up to it, I'm like, Mm-mm, I don't, I don't there'd want be, that in my, I don't want that in my, in my house. There'd be tarps everywhere in our oh, apartment. Just yeah. Covered. Just everything covered. It's like we're painting. Just all the, all the furniture. Oh, are you, are you renovating? Yeah. Uh, no, just having no, no, a baby no. at just, home. Just might give birth at any time. <laughs> I never know where, where I might land. <laughs> Like you absolutely, ex- like you just you everywhere, yeah, just r- running around, d- dirtying every room. <laughs> it's insane, but that is, that is, in, that is it, a disturbing it like probably, image. Probably sounds so ridiculous. Um, I think, <laughs> I think probably my perfect scenario would have been like some kind of birthing center. Sure, but the clinic that I ended up wanting to go to they partner with the hospital. And so I was just like, that's, that's fine. Yeah. And I think it did help going to the hospital the other day. Yeah. I was going to say maybe, maybe that was a little God moment too, of just being like, Hey, go and like work through that. Yeah. (laughs) So that that's not like maybe that, so that when you go for the, for real, you're not having to have those big, you know, maybe bigger emotions going into that or the PTSD as much. It is nice to have already been there. Yeah. Cause now, like the people were super nice. They were. And, and it's like nothing, like it was a, a completely positive experience. Yeah. I've just never, I've never been in a hospital where it was like, that turned out great. Like it's just never, I don't know. There's just never been, that wasn't my experience. So. Well, it's going to be your experience. Right. I'm, I'm hoping that, I'm honestly hoping that giving birth in the hospital changes my association with hospitals. It will. <laughs> It will. It's going to be, it's going to be a beautiful day, oh. a great day. And that I never, I didn't even, we totally, I totally like veered into another <clears throat> that's fine. lane. That's what we do. It that's, is. that's what this is. But all that to say, no, I don't have resentment about my brother passing away on my birthday or like really any kind of, I have the same amount of grief type feelings. Mm-hmm. I don't think, I don't think it happening on that day changed how difficult it was. Yeah. It would have been difficult no matter what day it was. Yeah. You know? Um, and it didn't it didn't taint my birthday for the long for the long term. I've also I've just like I love birthdays. I think they're You do. Cool. Yeah, you've you've made me appreciate birthdays a little bit more because you really like them. Yeah. I just think they're You like celebrating them a yeah, lot. Yeah, I know people are like, you didn't accomplish anything, you're just born. I'm like, but that's cool. I mean, like, yeah, it's it's like That's the what's, day. What's the famous quote? It's like the, the day you were born and the day you you realize why. 
Yeah. Was it? Uh huh. Like yeah, two but, most important days. Oh, of that's your it. Life. That's it. But I think it's true, it, though. Yeah, it's like is it the day that the world went from being a world without you, this person, to being a world with you? Mm-hmm. That's special, and that's cool. Yeah. Now we share. My brother and I kind of share my birthday as a day that is obviously it was very hard, but like that's the day that he went to heaven. So mm-hmm. that's a joyful day for him, you know? Yeah. The fact that that is on my birthday, that's, that's how I look at it now mm-hmm. as more of a, try to look at it as more of a celebration thing, even yeah. though it's hard. Yeah. Um. So all that to say it would be, I feel like it would just be very much like God for or maybe to be born on Corey's birthday. That'd be really special. Yeah. Also, in my family, there are 14 nieces and nephews, and the only month, there's 14 nieces and nephews, there's six of us, uh, like in my family, and then two parents. So including all of, including my parents, including all of my siblings, which I have five and siblings, the, and, and, the, and their, their significant mm-hmm. others, and, and all the all nieces and nephews, yeah. all their kids. We have a birthday on every single month, except October. No October birthday. So I feel like we'll fill the void. We're going to fill that <laughs> slot. Yeah. So with something that we've been talking a lot about, Ooh, and I'm sure that emotions. other people will probably resonate with this as well. Other people that have had kids is that we're like nearing the end here. And it's like mixed, it's a mixed emotions that we yeah, are mainly <laughs> excited and excited to see our baby and to see our son and, and be able to like, just like go on this journey. But there's also a part of us that are kind of like sad and mourning our life that we're going to be kind of the, the life that was before is ending. Yep. And the life of just us two is ending. And I I guess we're going through just kind of like a little, a very minimal, it's not like crazy, but a minimal like grieving period of, wow, okay, like this, this chapter of our life is now ending and all of our priorities are going to change. And like I am not going to... I'm not going to buy into the whole, like your life is going to be done. You're not going to be able to travel. You're not going to be able to, I'm sure there's going to be, it's going to be harder to do all, all of these things. Yeah. I get it, but I just will not buy into that. Um, that philosophy. No. All that being said is like, there will be a big priority shift of course. and it's not going to be like me thinking about my schedule and your schedule anymore. Mm-hmm. It's like now there's a third and his schedule is going to rule our schedule <laughs> Yes, <laughs> for, for sure. a little bit here. Yep. Uh, and that's like, it's a little like scary because right now I really like our life and I really enjoy the, <laughs> the freedom and the time that we have and the time that we get to spend together and be able to travel and, and stuff like that. And so um, I know there's a part of me that's like, I think in a, it's going to be a, a transition, but I know it's going to be all worth it. Mm-hmm. It's, it's very much worth it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's not a burden. Like having a kid no. is not a burden. No, no. And I don't get me wrong. That's not what I'm saying. It's just like, you know, naturally these things will shift. Yeah. It's just a change of, of season. Mm-hmm. And anytime that you like the season of your life changes, I think there's a little bit of a, an adjustment period, Mm -hmm. whether it is a grieving process or a, um, that might be a strong word for certain changes, but I think that's common because even, even going from like being single to being married, right? Like that's a big, that's a big transition period as well, where it's like, well now I'm, or even, even just even getting engaged, where it's like I'm I'm now committing to caring about someone else theoretically more than I care about myself. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's a surrendering that happens for sure. Yeah, and a, and like a sacrifice sure. that, that you're doing from going from you to marriage because mm-hmm. it's not just about you anymore. <laughs> yeah. Yep. And then the same thing will happen when you have a kid. And mm-hmm. so, all that being said, is we are 
we're very excited though. Yeah. For it. As uncomfortable as I am and as much as I'm like, I can't wait for him to come. Mm -hmm. I really am trying to like soak in and be present in these moments that we have mm-hmm. just the two of us oh, i'm gonna cry again <laughs> it's like we started the we started the floodgates yeah, and now it's like it's uh, kind of all what, over what do they say like about that in like Faucet? when you're in college when you like pee and you oh like when you drink and you oh, pee. oh 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 um <laughs> when you break the seal yeah, that. yes that's You've like i feel like broken the seal i broke the seal so now well we can we can make it a little bit lighter and well i wanted to say something nice oh okay say something nice (laughs) i'm trying to like you've just you've been so great over the course of the pregnancy and just made me feel so supported and more unconditionally loved than ever you've always been good at that but it's just like i'm just so grateful for you and when I, I found that, that video of me taking that pregnancy test. Yeah. And. Yeah, she found this old uh, pregnancy video uh, the first time she took the test. Yeah, I took one. I took after one. After I, I the took miscarriage. Two, yeah, I took two tests. I took one, and it was like one of the line tests. And I was like, I'm pretty sure it's positive, but I'm going to take another one in a few days. Yeah. And I took the one that said pregnant that we have shared on social media. And then that's what af- I told him after I took that test. So there I had a few days before I had taken another test that was positive. Um, and I, and I found that video on my phone. And when I was looking at that video, I, I felt like I was looking at, like I was watching a different person. Mm. Like I feel, you mean just physically? No. Oh, just f- from how, pregnancy has caused me to grow and change and I see I've seen so much growth and change in you too even though you're not the pregnant one like I just I've only seen I feel like I've experienced a lot of personal change for the better Mm. through being through being pregnant yeah just one of those and I know that becoming a mom and you becoming a dad is going to do, going to do the same thing. Yeah. And I'm, ex- I'm excited for that. Cause yep. it's, I love, I love looking back and being like, wow, I'm a pretty different, pr- I've learned a lot since like that person didn't know the things that I know now or hadn't yet learned the things yeah. that I've learned now. And that's just, I love that that goes on and on and on and on in life mm-hmm. as we enter different seasons. So, yeah. Oh boy. Oof. <laughs> Well, thanks, babe. Um, I mean, you've just been a rock star throughout this whole thing. You've been, you know, it, you haven't really skipped a beat. I know that it maybe at times you've seemed like you felt like you have and you felt like you've needed to, but that's also because you're pregnant and you're growing a human being. I definitely now feel like I'm skipping the most beats. (laughs) That's fine. You are 38 weeks pregnant, you know, and you have a literal human being inside of you yeah that is so that is taking all your energy and taking all your food and (laughs) so it's okay you've been you've been amazing throughout this and so i just know that everything is going to go great with Mm -hmm. the pregnancy and Mm -hmm. uh it's just going to be such a a beautiful moment and you're going to be such an amazing mom but we also wanted to so we thought something fun would do uh, something fun would be to do some wives tales some old wives tales uh, about pregnancy and see how many are accurate or how many have been accurate for us yeah these like they're all about predicting the gender yeah oh oh really yeah oh okay the first one is about cravings okay that if you're having a girl you crave sweet things like chocolate pastries, juice, and fruit. If you're having a boy, you crave things like meat, cheese, and protein. Well, that's been pretty accurate. That has been pretty accurate for me. I've definitely wanted more like protein, cheese, meat, basically everything it just listed. Yeah. You've had, I feel like I've had more of a sweet tooth than you have. (laughs) So does that mean I'm having a girl? Uh, Let us know if, if, yeah, He's yeah, ring true yeah. For you. Okay, when when we go through these, comment if it's been accurate for you as well. Yeah, or completely wrong. Or yeah, or totally wrong. Obviously, these aren't actual predictors, but oh, heartburn is another is another one. Constant, constant or more intense heartburn means you're having a girl. If you don't experience much heartburn, that's a sign you're having a boy. That's also been accurate. Yeah, literally, I haven't really had heartburn until 
last last night. Yeah, that's because I made ribs. And they were very good. They but were they very, were... very good, but I, they came back to bite me. <laughs> they did come back to bite me. I did not sleep well. Yeah, we won't have we won't have ribs for a while. My body was like, that was too much meat. <laughs> <laughs> too much sodium, probably. Yeah. Yeah. They were really tasty, though. They were, they were really good. Yeah, super juicy. It took forever, though. I don't know if you've ever cooked <laughs> ribs. They they took like three hours. So it's just honestly just the time factor. I'm like, I don't even want them anymore. I don't want to do it anymore. Theoretically, that should be easy, but they were dripping juice onto the bottom of our oven, which yeah. then proceeded to smoke like crazy and fill our apartment with, yeah. with smoke. Yeah. So then we had to shut the <laughs> oven off. We had to clean it. I had to go in like, yeah, it, it was a whole thing. So it, it, it definitely, a, it definitely. We ate, we ate dinner. I also probably. I think we ate it at 10 p.m., right? We were right? eating it between 10 and 10, 30 p.m., yeah, which also so that didn't help. didn't help. That didn't help. <laughs> we started cooking at like six. <laughs> Heartburn. Heartburn, yes. That's, girl, no Okay, boy. so far we're two two and oh. Yeah. Or two for two. Uh, morning sickness. If you experience a lot, a lot of morning sickness and feel extremely sick, you're having a girl. If you don't have any morning sickness or you just experience mild nausea, it's a boy. I would say I probably trend on, on that. Yeah. Because I, I didn't actually ever throw up or. You were pretty, I mean, you were nauseous and you felt, right? You, you, you felt nauseous and tired, but you yeah. didn't, you never threw up. Uh-uh. Not to that point. No. So, I mean, yeah, so far three for Ish. three. Wow. The line of your linea nigra, that like the dark, the dark line that uh-huh. goes down uh-huh. the middle of the belly saying, if it starts below your belly button, you're having a girl. And if it starts above your belly button, it's a boy. I think that's true. Yeah, it is true. There it is. Wow. What <laughs> in the world? I was expecting these to be all just like far far off but so far they're they've all been right uh, none of them are actually related to the gender of your baby but it's kind of it's fun yeah the other one is hair and nails if you if you notice your hair and nails feeling brittle dry or thin you're having a girl or if you have shiny luscious healthy hair and nails you're having a boy well i i wouldn't i mean i wouldn't know either way I, i'd be curious if if we have a girl next mm-hmm. that um <laughs> if that would end up happening for you she's yeah. always had really thick amazing hair always been jealous <laughs> so but it's been true yeah you've been you've had amazing hair and nails yeah it's, it's all right five ma- for five it's, ma- it's maintained pregnancy brain i honestly have not experienced much of this have you heard of this like pregnancy brain thing where it's like you forget stuff yeah. you have brain fog mm-hmm. clumsiness although i do drop things i have noticed myself dropping everything w- okay what's the wife's tale the wife's tale <laughs> is about is like if you're if you don't really experience pregnancy brain then you're having a girl. But if you do, then you're having a boy. Mm. I don't think you've had much of that. I haven't really. I wouldn't say. Besides feeling like, feeling like I'm like I drop everything. You've had yeah, you've had a couple of those moments. But only of course it's like only at the end when I'm like too big to bend over. I'm like, why why do I have the butteriest fingers <laughs> suddenly when I can't when it's so difficult to bend over? It's true. <laughs> it's true. She'll she'll be like, Can you hand me that? And she'll immediately drop it and be like, Sorry, can you hand me that again? <laughs> or I'll be like, he'll be like across the apartment and he'll be like, Don't I'll get it. Uh, I got it. Like, don't bend over. Yeah, I got it. I'm coming. Yeah. <laughs> Which is very sweet of you. Baby bump position. If you're carrying high, you're having a girl. If you're carrying lower in your abdomen, you're ha- you're having a boy. I don't know. I don't honestly don't know what that means. I have no idea what that equates to. Uh, I don't. Uh, I don't know. Or I baby think bump maybe shape. It's low. A wide baby bump is a sign you're having a girl. If your bump looks narrow and pops forward, it's a boy. Again, I'm not. Really I wouldn't sure. say you're wide at all. I wouldn't necessarily say so either. Yeah, but I, so. I don't know. I I would say, I would say that's, yeah, that's true. It's a boy. It's a boy. (laughs) It's a boy. Um, And there's this other one that's like you, it's based on like your baby's due date and your birthday. Like one of those Chinese like gender predictor things, Uh which I don't know exactly what it means, but I did that. And according to that, I was having a boy. Wow. Yeah. This one absolutely kills me. If your partner gains weight while you're pregnant, it's a sign you're having a girl. If your partner's weight stays about the same, it's a boy. You have definitely not gained any weight. No, I haven't. I don't think that's going to happen uh, if we end up having a girl, but... No, it won't. That'd be crazy if that, that was the case. That, that, I guarantee that won't happen. So far, 
I think they've all been right except for what's the one that hasn't been? The, there was uh, one that was kind of like, oh, the brain fog. Um, baby's heartbeat. Mm-hmm. If your baby's fetal heart rate is above 140 beats per minute, you're having a girl. If, if your baby's heartbeat is less than 140 beats per minute, it's a sign you're having a boy. That's not, that's, that's not, not been true. accurate. For yeah, us. That, that has not been accurate. He's, he's had a resting heart rate around like 150. Yeah, most of the time. Most of the time, I think. Yeah, like 150, they... 145, probably. Uh-huh. He's an active one. He, he is an active one. Oh, if your feet stay the same without any swelling, it's a girl. If you notice swelling in your feet, it's a boy. Well, well, I have had some swelling in my feet, but he, not as has. much as I've, as I know other people have experienced. No, not at all. So I'm trying like, to be grateful. Your for... feet are so small that they probably blew up to like a normal size. I mean, not even my, my shoes still fit fine. Oh, they do? Yeah. Yeah, she wears size five and a half. Six, I would say. Yeah, more, more probably so. more like a six. Yeah, they're weirdly small. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, you're, like you're walking on a point at all times. <laughs> like little tennis balls. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, is that a, a, we, a we char- me character? Me character, yes, in the Wii game. That's funny. Okay, here's one more, last one, uh, related to like sleeping sides. <coughs> if you naturally fall asleep on your right side... Hello, baby girl. If you fall asleep on your left side, it's a boy. Interesting. I normally fall asleep on my right side. So it's not accurate. No, you. D- yeah, that's true. You do. Even though they say you're... You know, left side is better. Why, why is that better? It's, it's supposed to be like, I guess it's what... It's just like it helps get your baby in the most optimal position. Mm, um, I thought it was for gas. Well, it Isn't helps that with that. Yeah, yeah, you lay on your left side. Helps you toot. And why is that? I think it's just because of the way that things are positioned, I guess. Hmm. You ever notice when you have gas that it actually, it really, it makes it, I mean, for me, it like, what, that you makes mean a difference. on your left side? Yeah. Yeah, I, I do notice it. I just, like, I'm curious as to what, what the, uh, I guess, the biology of it is. I was reading something just today when I was looking up these wives' tales about, like, it wasn't related to gas. I wish I could find it. It was something about how it, like, helps your... It helps like the filtration, lying on your left side helps the filtration systems in your body work better. Mm. Um, wow, so filtration. It, it was talking about how if you wake up swollen, mm-hmm. like you should sleep on your left side, which oddly enough, I do often, lately I've been waking up with my feet swollen and then they actually go, they decrease as I start, as I start to move around, mm. which is interesting. It is interesting. So I don't know. She's been a tooting machine though. I will say that. Hey now. Oh. Sorry, I said that out loud. It's him. It's him. <laughs> it is not him. Right around, it's she's like clockwork. It's right around ten thirty p.m. Come is on, when now. when it starts. They're airing out all my dirty laundry here. You're 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 airing out. <laughs> period. <laughs> how dare you set yourself up? <laughs> Absolutely, how dare? Yeah, throughout the day, really nothing though. It's just it's like ten thirty p.m on it is it's the trans-siberian orchestra (laughs) (laughs) wish it was that pleasant love the trans-siberian orchestra sometimes you could probably audition (laughs) quit it okay that's enough of that okay i want to know how many of these were accurate for other people yeah so tell tell uh, us uh, uh, comment down how many of those were accurate for you or how many were way off because they were quite accurate for us to be honest (laughs) i think only one or two were not yeah that's fun kind of crazy there's also those like weird things where you like hang a ring over your stomach and see which way what? it spins what like your wedding ring you like hang your wedding ring over your stomach and if it goes in a circle it's like you're having one and if it swings back and forth you're having the other i don't know which i can't remember which is which uh that's insane <laughs> those those make Wait, me what's laugh. the hair one there's like that's a hair that one. that oh. is saying you pull you hang your wedding ring on a on a strand of your hair on a strand of your hair yeah. Okay. I've always heard it with a string. That sounds uh, a little, re- little voodoo. Yeah, I'm like, I don't like the idea of being like, <laughs> let me plot my hair for an experiment. Like, I just that's uh, freaks me out. <laughs> and then put it in this potion. Absolutely not. Okay, so you pluck your hair. Yeah. You, you string you your str- wedding ring onto it. Okay. And hold it over your belly. You just hold it over the belly, and then it will either go if it goes in circles, around. It's a girl. If it goes back and forth, it's a boy. Yeah, that sounds like witchcraft. Yeah, I don't like it. I don't like it, especially either. with the hair. Yeah, with the string, with the string. Yeah, I yeah. was like, oh, that could be that could be funny to try. But yeah. then I was I was like, a strand of my hair. No thanks. Yeah, we're gonna say no to that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't trust it. 
It's <laughs> funny. Well, those are fun. Yeah. Those are fun. Yeah, especially like since I already know what I'm having, it's fun to test. To test are the we accuracy. gonna do a podcast in the hospital? <laughs> that would be ridiculous. <laughs> Absolutely. Or like well, well maybe we'll, we'll have me. to like you know to keep up with it just like during during the birth has there ever been a podcast that has happened during birth probably not that probably be really uh really uh probably distracting invasive i would say <laughs> i don't know how much focusing you can do on a conversation i also wouldn't want to hear it heck no i would not want to listen to that Absolutely that would be very not. unenjoyable yeah yeah i've watched a lot of i've watched a lot of birth videos now at this point <laughs> I'm all set. I don't even want to see my own. <laughs> I literally do not even want to see my own. Well, from from the waist up. From the waist up. From this angle, you yeah. mean? Yeah. 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 Wow. I'm going to, I think I'm going to be a big old ball baby. <laughs> I'm going to cry, cry, cry. Probably. I mean, same. Based yeah. on <laughs> my past experiences. <laughs> or I'm not going to cry at all. I'm going to surprise everyone and not cry at all. Oh, that would be crazy. Mm-hmm. Well, we'll find out in a few weeks time. I know. Which is so nuts. I just want to say thank you so much for everyone that has subscribed, that has commented, that has left us DMs. Mm -hmm. We have such a supportive and loving community. We, we really do not do. take it for granted at it's all. Pretty I pretty cool. was like going into pregnancy. I was thinking, I was just kind of mentally preparing, thinking that there'd be a good amount of people giving unsolicited pregnancy advice sure and it just kind of being like you're doing this wrong you're doing this wrong you're doing this wrong kind of thing because i know that happens but we have not we've very 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 seldom have had somebody say that it's so 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 rare everybody has been so supportive even when people like offer yeah or, advice, or advice if you will it's very much like it's like in such a kind way yes it's not like you're doing like you're doing this wrong. It's always coming, coming at it with like a, you know, like, Hey, you know, like I'm not trying to be blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Blah. Like take it with a grain of salt. Yeah. And I just, we appreciate that yeah. beyond words. We really, really can. And I know that now that we're about to step into parenthood, Oof. yeah, there will be <laughs> unsolicited parenting advice. And, but I appreciate I appreciate, we would appreciate it if you just kept up the, the supporting side <laughs> and just kept up that energy because, you know, we're just going to, we're going to do our best and everybody's like, just like trying everyone. to do their best. Like, and I think yeah. there is no rule book for parenting and, you know, it, it's so easy to just judge other people's parenting on online as face value and just say like you're a bad parent because of this one little clip or something uh, other people like i've just seen other influencers get so much hate for certain things i'm like that's so ridiculous uh you don't know their life and you're just automatically judging them so please don't do that for those of you who can't see i am now on <laughs> sarah's camera because <laughs> for whatever camera. reason the battery died and it looks like there's like a it's, issue with the battery it's having a moment so it's having a mo we're gonna <laughs> give it its rest and we're gonna do we're just gonna finish it out on here but all that being said we we just really appreciate yes you and, all and love you very much yes and like we pray for all of you mm -hmm. and really are so grateful. It's been really fun to, to share, to document and share this experience of, of pregnancy. Um, and yeah, just thank you. We are very grateful. And as we always end our podcast, we like to end our podcast by, <laughs> <laughs> what? I, I always like, I always get that wrong. <sighs> what, how is it? How do I say it? And as always, we like to end That's our podcast. That's it. And as always, we like to end our <laughs> podcast by singing goodbye. I think we ended on the on the, same, ended note. On the same note. Just different octaves. Yeah. Oh. Wow. Wow. Ma -da -ma -ma -bum. <laughs>